a 200 milligram a day uh, protocol of cream, I mean, that's probably close to what you're on, right, Stephen? Yeah, but it's compounded to 20% cream. Yeah. But it will actually cross into the bloodstream and it will work great. But 200 milligrams of gel yeah. won't get anywhere near close to that because it's not actually going to cross properly. So the issue is poor bioavailability. The other issue is that, I mean, gel is a very weak concentration. So the amount of gel that you would have to put on to get 200 milligrams a day, I mean, you'd have to be like slathering your entire body with goo. Um, so it would it would be horrible. The risk of transference would also be very high because, I mean, I imagine you'd have to put it on all over your body. So gel has very poor bioavailability and injectables are going to be far more bioavailable. So if people are looking for a rough guide for like how much uh, injections versus how much like good quality compounded cream, this is not a perfect translation because everyone's going to be different. But when I start off swapping someone from one to the other, if I look at your weekly dose of injections, so let's say you're on 200 milligrams a week of injections, I'll look at swapping you to start with to about 200 milligrams a day of cream. And that's how I do the starting dose. So obviously it will need to be titrated. Some people respond better to cream than injections and injections to cream, but I find that's a pretty good starting point for finding an equivalent dose. So weekly dose of injections is about equivalent to daily dose of cream in terms of the milligrams of testosterone. But when we're looking at commercial preparations of creams and gel, I often say you'll have to have a bath in it for it to work properly.